I can boldly say this is the most delicious and the easiest way to make coconut jollof rice. Hello, nice to meet you. If today is the first time here, my name is Lena and this is my cooking channel. Without wasting much of your time, let's get started. So I have with me my beef meat and I've added my ginger, garlic, onion, pepper and also beef seasoning. I will then go ahead and add some salt yes to taste then keep this on fire for some time please remember it should be on a lower heat on the other part i will add my coconut oil i made at home and add my chopped onions give it a stir and wait for a while so after this is on fire we will quickly check on our meat and see what is going on there and our meat is almost done so now i'll get back to the pot that we are going to prepare the rice in i'll just add my tomato sauce so after i add the tomato sauce i will then add my tomato paste so please be with me and do not go anywhere remember to give it a gentle stir and let it be on fire for some time or so it is ready okay when your stew is ready when you fetch it um, in the spoon you will see that it will still boil okay it will still boil when we say uh -huh, it means it is ready okay yeah so after stirring it after waiting for about 40 to 45 minutes our stew is ready now i'm going to boil my eggs that is what you are seeing behind the stew and also to check on the meat as well so i'll get back to the stew and i think my stew is ready and the meat is also ready but the egg is still on fire okay yes so i'm just going to pour my stew in a bigger cooking pot so i'm using my wok and that is the water or the stock i got from the meat and i've added it to the stew okay yes i'll make sure i taste it and see if the salt is okay before i add salt so my tasting officer tasted it and it was okay so i've added my coconut milk and my rice that is what i'm stirring now you can see the rice already look very good so if you've watched me till this point and you haven't subscribed please what are you waiting for can you please smash on the red button and the bell icon that says all so that when we upload new videos you will be updated thank you for doing it for me i do appreciate it so i'm just going to leave this on fire for some minutes and i'll be checking on it um, regularly so that it doesn't burn okay and these are the ingredients we are going to use for our salad so the egg is ready the egg that we bought is ready and i've added it to the things we are going to use for the salad so now i'll fry my meat and i'm using olive oil the light olive oil okay that is what i'm using so I'll fry it for some time. My wok doesn't have cover and see what I use for that. <laughs> oh my God. That one alone added some flavor. Yes, the Asanka added some flavor to the jollof rice. Oh my goodness. It was some smoky bee, some weeby. Uh -huh. You can see that. That really looks very good. And you keep checking on it at least every four minutes on a very lower heat so that it doesn't burn i like the idea of covering it with asanka it was so delicious and flavorful as well so our rice is almost ready thank you very much and if you are still watching me at this point oh my goodness thank you for always being with me my returning subscribers i do appreciate your time here always and i didn't take it for granted so our jollof rice is ready and this is how it looks it has singled out and it looks very soft as well 
our mate is also here doing magic <laughs> that is also almost ready so the meat is ready now and i'm taking it off from the oil and this is how it looks now our salad is all also ready i like my salad very dry but if they want the mayonnaise they are just going to add the mayonnaise to the salad and enjoy and the jello fries too is ready now we are done with everything and this is what we have yes thank you very much for watching and let me see you in the next upload because i am going to be very happy if i see you so i come your way next time see you in the next video bye